Okay, so here is how I measure a header. So I can create the same size in Canva. So it will fit perfectly in Google Sheets. Let's say I wanna insert a header over here, right? In the size of this, um, this column. So I'm gonna go over here and I let's say I wanna merge the cells. Okay, so I have this space right here. What I do, I do a shift command four. In this case, I'm on a Mac. So you can just come over here and then once you do this, you will see the size. You see here that it says 856 by 95. So then I take a screenshot of that and then I go to Canva. Now I could either create that same size. You go to create a design and then you go to, where's the custom size? Here, custom size. And then you can enter 895, 89, forgot the numbers, 895 by 95 or something like that. Or uh but that's gonna be too small so <clears throat> depending on your image it's going to be blurry in google sheets so what i like to do personally i take a bigger size so for example a 1080 um either this no, that might be still too small so i'm gonna go with the 3000 by 3000 so i just select this one and then i'm going to get that screenshot and here and i'm gonna enter that right here so then i'm going to go to this side and then i'm just gonna go all the way to the other corner so here you can see it's 3000 by 333 <clears throat> so i'm gonna go to resize custom size 3000 by 333 and then i'm gonna click continue and I'm just gonna say resize this design. Now you can delete this, this was your model. So if you go back, you will see now that it fits perfectly in here. So if you go all the way out, that is the same exact size. Uh, and now you just go ahead and enter an image. So let me see here, elements, I'm just gonna add any photo. And then you can do set image uh, image as background and then you can double click and adjust like where you want you know that space to be and then you're going to download that you can do either png or jpeg if you are doing png you are able to do um transparent background oh this is new now you can limit the file size so then because i'm not doing any like if you're doing um like words or you know like a heading with words and stuff like that and you have nothing in the background you may want to use transparent background because then it will uh it will adjust to whatever color you have in the background of your spreadsheet so once you downloaded that just go to image insert image in cell or it can be over cell too it doesn't really matter on this case and then is this not downloaded Oh, it's not letting me because there's only one image. Hold on. Let me add text. Uh, Canva now, there's this thing. If you're using their images or their graphics or whatever it is, you can't download the thing individually. You have to add something else. Okay. Now, we should be here. There we go. There you go. Now, you have your heading right here. Uh, and if you don't want that in the cells, if you want, you can do image and then put image over cells. And then here you can adjust the size that you want. Uh, if you are doing in cell, then you would have to, like, let's say you want to merge all of this. And you click the image, you select the space that you want this to go. And then go here and put image in selected cell. Now you will see here that there's a little white space and that's because we created the image based on that previous uh, dimensions, right? So then if you want to uh, make sure that there's a just, you can just, um, there, and you can just do here and now you have your heading um, perfectly sized to the cells. Okay, hope that was helpful.